We're watching for something called streamers. In other words, thin little bands of clouds that'll come floating in on the wind. And we're starting to see them now uh, during the later evening hours as they roll southward through the area and borne on these winds right on through here. Uh, so with this streamer right here, we can see some scattered snowfall uh, moving on in. I'll show you what's going on on this short term version of Future Track. Uh, we'll take out 12 hours looking for any of these streamers to come dropping on in. Now, they have the uh, one hour, it'll say yes and throw a huge streamer our way, and then the next hour uh, just says no. So, again, that's what's going on with this one uh, for right now. I just updated. Now, here's a look at what's going on on another version of Future Track 19 mile an hour winds, 14, 17 mile an hour winds into the region. We'll take it through time. Five o'clock in the morning, one of these streamers started to produce a little snow. You see a little bit, a little bit of snow farther on up the bay. And I've left these winds on here full force to give you an idea of the direction of the winds, and they're pinching a little bit as they roll on down the bay. Really, the, uh, the land and sea, the sea, of course, uh, or the bay uh, is very flat. There's nothing going on, and it tends to pinch the winds a little bit uh, rolling on in. So we end up with this streamer by seven o'clock in the morning that does produce a little bit of snow. It's not likely to produce a great deal of snow. It's not likely to really shut down traffic. It may reduce visibility, but there's going to be enough wind uh, throughout the first part of the day, especially, that any snow that falls is just going to get blown off the roads. It'll likely get blown off car tops and patios as well, but it'll stick on the grass a little bit. So we could see a light dusting on the grass in some places on the south side. Here's where things are at 9 o'clock in the morning. Take you to 11 o'clock in the morning. It's almost gone, and poof, it is gone. We still got some wind at 3 o'clock. Now, that's the first thing. Second thing is, we'll show you how much of snow we get uh, according to this. Now, this is going to vary. This is not going to be exact uh, with all of this. But uh, again, it gives us an idea of what's going on. 1800s, 1700s, maybe a quarter of an inch. We move on in at where it is. Again, this will not be uh, this will not be exact, but you can see where we are. Uh, Diamond Springs Road. There's Newtown Road. Uh, there's 64. There's 264 right here, leading through Virginia Beach, South Independence, Salem Road, Centerville Turnpike, Volvo Parkway, Providence Road, uh, and then farther south, we're into Chesapeake uh, toward Elbow Road. Again, you can see where that little streak of possible snow lies. So we are looking at those streamers of clouds moving in and likely to develop a little bit of a dusting on the grass. It'll blow off the roads quite likely and not create a big problem. The only thing is it could be a little heavy at times, uh, so it could be reducing visibility. The cold, that's going to be the really big story. Overnight, drip the faucets, open up the cabinets underneath those faucets as well. We're going to drop on down to 17, 22, and then 28, 31 degrees toward Cape Hatteras. It'll be breezy, especially for the Outer Banks. Uh, drip the faucets, especially for inland areas, 15, 18, 21, 22, 23. And again, we could see some of those snow showers coming up toward dawn and lasting through around uh, 10, 10 o'clock in the morning. So snow showers close to the bay. Well, this could clip uh, Pocosin and Hampton as well. We've got temperatures once again 17 to around 20 degrees. North winds at 10 to 20 and flurries out over the bay uh, a little bit later on. 16, 18 up to about what 21 at Cape Charles for an overnight low. It's cold. It's going to stay cold for tomorrow. We'll see our temperature rise only uh, to around 31, 32 degrees during the afternoon hours. Some morning flurries are indeed possible over the south side, not as much over the peninsula. We'll see the wind drop off later in the day, but it'll be 10, 20 miles an hour and very gusty for the first part of the day. 30, 32 degrees. That's it. That's where we'll max out during the afternoon hours. 39, a little bit warmer on Friday, and Yahoo, 42 degrees on Saturday. But we are going to cool back on down for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday with high temperatures, again, only around uh, 30, 32 degrees into the area.